Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this, and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. Um, your, your energy is showing up in your reading here. You have the sun with the four of swords, okay? Overall energy is the queen of wands. Now, what I feel like this means here for you is this is, you're in a little bit of a restful period. Um, the sun is shining on you is what I want to say. There's op I'm hearing things like optimism and good fortune are coming your way. And I really feel like that has a lot to do with your alignment with this Queen of Wands energy. As a reader, in my opinion, the Queen of Wands, first of all, the Queen of Wands represents Aries energy. So maybe you have Aries in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries, something like that. Maybe you're cross-watching for an Aries or maybe... Uh, Aries is cross-watching cross for Leo and blah, 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 whatnot. Well, no, you wouldn't be cross-watching for an Aries here. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Well, whatever. That, none of that really matters. Um, the Queen of Wands, in my opinion, is a physical embodiment of the law of attraction at work, right? So she represents being in alignment with that which you require or desire to manifest, what you want to bring towards you, just being in a receptive um, energy, in a receptive mode, in order for your manifestations to come forward towards you. And I feel like at least maybe over the month of November or for whatever this time period that this res this reading resonates for you, you're, you're in a bit of a, a receptive mode, okay? You're taking a little bit of a break. You're taking a little bit of a hiatus, maybe um, uh, isolating yourself a little bit um, with this Four of Swords energy. Uh, and, and if, the, if you're not in this energy right now, your advice could be to um, really focus on quieting your mind, resting, um, allowing yourself to be in a receptive mode. I'm also getting an energy of needing to rest and contemplate what it is you're seeking is what I'm hearing, what it is you, you, wish, you wish to attract towards you. The sun is giving me an energy of this is a very, this is a perfect time, an opportune time for you to really kind of like take a break, settle down for a little bit, uh, remove yourself from the hustle and the bustle of everything, um, go into more of a receptive mode rather being in that active mode that actually Leo tends to be in. Leo is a very masculine energy. It is a fixed energy. Masculine energy is all about um, taking action, doing things. The Empress just flipped over here, wants to show herself. Um, you know, there's there's quite a bit of abundance surrounding you right now. Uh, I, I feel like at least the message so far, Leo, is now is an opportune time for you to really set settle into some sort of receptive mode or receptive energies. Maybe instead of projecting so much, now may be the time for you to really focus on receiving. Nine of Wands just flipped over. So some of you may have been really struggling for a while, um, really pushing forward, being, be, oh, I heard being too active. And that may have, that may be leaving you feeling drained. I'm not gonna take this one. That may be leaving you feeling drained and whatnot. Um, but to be honest, with that sun card that came out also, I feel like, you know, the energy and the effort that you put into, even though it may have been, you know, of, oh, yep, uh, temperance just popped out. I mean, even though that may have been over extending yourself in some way or left you feeling drained, there is some sort of benefit or reward that's going to come of it eventually. Um, but you need to be in a mode to receive this now, okay? Temperance popped up. Um, this is Sagittarian energy. We, we have all three of the fire signs showing up in your reading so far, Leo, between you yourself as the sun, the queen of wands, which is Aries, and now temperance, which is Sagittarius. But again, this is, this, um, temperance is saying here, this is why you need to really be in this receptive mode right now. First of all, some of you are working on integrating and balancing your mask, your feminine energies with your masculine energies. Feminine energy is receptive. So in order for you to get to this place where you can have a deeper understanding, a greater understanding of, um, 
the fullness or the wholeness of yourself in the combination between masculine and feminine. You're going to need to sit back, pull back and allow yourself to be in more of a receptive mode here. But also this is a time of integration. You guys, I really feel like you guys have been working very hard, um, you know, and, and taking a great deal of action in terms of what it is you would like to achieve or receive in this world. And now is a time for you to allow this to integrate. So balance out. Okay. I'm also being my guided, my, my eyes are being drawn to the sun that's back here. That's rising. You could say it's setting or rising. I kind of feel like it's rising here, especially because the sun came out before. Um, good things are on the horizon. Okay. Good fortune is on its way, Leo. Yes. Uh, a lot of hard work well done that is actually really about to pay off for you. All right. Excellent. So I'm just going to give this one shuffle and then we'll get into the rest of the reading here for you. All right. Here we go, Leo. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of November 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're going to have this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got for you. Yes, Leo? All right, here we go. One for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit, to serve the highest good of all involved for this time period of November 2019. For my Leos, that was three. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is four for the month of November Ooh. 2019. And five. Ooh. Cards are getting <clears throat> cards are getting a little sticky here, y'all. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boop. All right, y'all. Overall energy for you, Leos. Hello, you've got that nine of pentacles. Look at you, standing tall, standing independent. And actually, this is a card that represents a uh, payoff for hard work well done, okay? Um, and for many of you, what I'm getting here, there's a sense of freedom, ooh, a sense of sobriety is what I'm hearing, a sense of independence, autonomy, standing on your own, embodying, embodying your own principles, being who you are, being true to who you are, loving yourself, loving life, loving yourself for what you truly have to offer in the world um, in spite of, you know, maybe some sort of conformity you may have had to deal with in the past. That's interesting. Okay, underneath the Nine of Pentacles, you do have the the Knight of Cups. All right, I'm I'm really getting I'm I'm really I'm getting a sense of uh, picking up on a, a true heart's desire for somebody. Okay, it, it seems that in being in your in your independence here with this Nine of Pentacles, this is allowing you to move forward with what your heart truly desires. All right, and that's. That's really beautiful. Underneath the Knight of Cups, you've got the Emperor. More Aries energy, okay? It really looks like somebody's taking the lead here. And underneath that, the Page of Swords. Okay. Wow. Um, uh, some of you, someone here may be looking to make some sort of romantic gesture, romantic offer to another person. Um, and, and interesting, what I'm getting here is because now that I'm looking at this nine of pentacles, I'm picking up on another person that someone may want to make some sort of romantic gesture towards. And it's representing how that person may have been very much in their own space of independence for some time now. And I feel like that may have influenced you, Leo, or whomever it is that is looking to make some sort of offer. It's influenced you to really like take your power back. Um, I just heard own your true calling and start to move forward in this way. 
Uh, you could be watching this person. This person could be watching you with the Page of Swords. You also could be planning, mapping out, checking out the, scoping out the landscape, seeing how you could be making some sort of offer, some sort of gesture, or moving forward in some way that is true to your heart's desire. Okay. You also have Pisces energy with this Knight of Cups. Also, it doesn't have to be that. It could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Again, it doesn't have to be that either. But you also have Virgo with this Nine of Pentacles energy. Again, it doesn't have to be that. Okay. Oh, and then you have Gemini potentially with the Page of Swords. But then also it could be Aquarius or, 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 or Libra. Again, it does not have to be that. Taking your power back, autonomy, living your truth, seeking real meaning in your life. Um, it, it feels like maybe some of you in, in entering into this nine of pentacles, this, this state of independence and autonomy, now you're actually seeking the true meaning or true, what life really means for you, what life really has to offer, what life could truly be through the eyes of source or through the eyes of yourself, through the eyes of your own independence. This is really beautiful, Leo. Okay. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates, yeah? Whichever works best for you, okay? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have... Oh, shoot, the tower. Wow. Okay, so someone is real... <laughs> um, someone is making a... a, a, a honestly making a, a truly making a conscious decision to go in a new direction and what i'm hearing is go in a direction that is way that is in in favor or in service of autonomy independence and sovereignty in in some way um someone is really breaking free from a mold you could be in the process of breaking free from some sort of family tradition family change societal tradition or change um but whatever this tower specifically represents for you, I really feel like it is, a, it is a byproduct. It is a result of you stepping into this power of authority over your own life and allowing your heart to, to lead you forward. Okay? It's making a major change for you, which is in service of, of love also. So this is a good thing. Um, in service of autonomy, but I keep saying that, but it just, it's the message that's coming through, so I'm just going to say it. The, the, the tower is coupled with, okay, the two of pentacles. So either this tower has already struck, and now you're in the process of bringing balance back into your life now that the tower has struck, or the tower is, you're, it's almost as if maybe you're preparing for a tower moment. But this tower moment also is in service of greater balance, greater physical balance in your life. This could, this could manifest as finances or this could just manifest as uh, physical circumstances, okay? But whatever this tower moment is for you or whatever this tower moment has been for you, it is in service of greater balance in your life, ultimately, which is serving your, your um, energetic resonance with independence, okay? And whatever that means for you or whatever that looks like for you specifically. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have, there you go, the Ace of Wands, inspired towards a new creative venture. This could be romantically uh, influenced here with this Knight of Cups energy, um, a new creative endeavor, a new life uh, wanting to create something new. This could literally be, I'm, I'm picking up very creative or sexually oriented energies. So this could be literally conceiving of a baby, ha deciding to have a child, um, uh, priming the lamps, landscape to, I know, I, to, to have a child. Um, but it doesn't have to be a physical human. It can just be, you know, a new life direction, a new creative path, um, something like that. But there is definitely inspiration here to move in a new direction. And I also kind of feel like this could be what has helped to influence some sort of tower moment for you or some sort of massive change. Okay, Ace of Wands is coupled with. All right, there you go, the chariot. Okay, that, wow, this is really very much in service of your own independence. It really seems that 
you have come into this energy of greater balance within yourself. And this could absolutely be a greater balance between masculine and feminine energy here. But that has ultimately created, well, it, it's, it's kind of backwards here because what I'm seeing is the Ace of Wands and the Chariot energy, the combination of what this represents, is a catalyst to what is created or what has created, what is creating or what has created a tower moment here. But also, this is, this, 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 the energies of the chariot, which is balance of the emotions, balance of positive and negative, masculine and feminine, bringing up two opposing sides together to create that sense of greater wholeness. That is a byproduct of this. Or this, the Nine of Pentacles, the Emperor, uh, the Knight of Cups, being in this energy, it's all intertwined, but it, it's, but having come into this balanced energy here represented by the chariot is a reflection of this independence or autonomy you've come to leo all right and that's allowing you to move forward in a brand new direction that's really creating it's creating an upheaval in your life sure but again that upheaval is in service of greater balance okay also the chariot is cancerian energy so you could be a cancer leo cusper you could have cancer in your chart somehow. Again, it doesn't have to be that way, okay? So, uh, uh, your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Leo. The Four of Cups. And I heard a missed opportunity specifically. It may be that a missed opportunity is influencing you, is dri helping to drive you forward. Um, a past, this, this technically would be a past missed opportunity. Obviously, it would be a past. I mean, I don't think this would be. Uh, can we even can we even talk about a future missed opportunity? I mean, I guess you could talk about that in sense in the sense of you don't want to miss an opportunity in the future. But also, I feel like that would be a direct result of having missed some opportunities in the past. Uh, your challenge here is boredom, overcoming boredom, complacency, maybe even depression. So for those of you that may be starting to enter into this energy, you know, are not quite in this energy yet, this is a bit of foreshadowing for you. There is a, there, I'm picking up that there is a level of depression that you're dealing with right now that is help moving you, help catalyzing you into this new sense of independence, taking your power back, owning your life, taking your life by the reins and controlling the, 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 the direction that your life is moving in with this chariot energy. Very interesting. The four of cups is coupled with, ah, there you go, the ace of cups, all right? And it's very interesting because looky here, you have this ace of cups that's being handed to this individual in the four of cups. And now that is coupled by the ace of cups itself. So. For those of you that haven't, those Leos out there, that haven't quite reached this energy, these energies of autonomy, um, independence, taking your power back, the tower being struck, things being destroyed that no longer serve you, that are not that are not serving your authenticity, your happiness, what it is your heart desires. You are being handed an opportunity to love yourself here. And that is definitely being, it, that is definitely um, uprooting certain senses of depression or certain elements that, that, that push you in, into a sense of depression. But that's only so that you can clear those energies away and make room for the self-love that can fill that space, okay? There is an energy of rejection here. I feel like some of you may have been rejecting yourself in service of others, rejecting what your heart truly wants, rejecting some sort of um, guidance that you've been receiving, maybe from your higher self, maybe from the universe, maybe just from your inner, from like from your heart center. But also what I'm getting here, the challenge in the Four of Cups, feelings of depression or, or, or missing out of op uh, missing opportunities, missing out, maybe even FOMO, which is the fear of missing out. Um, that all served a purpose. And that purpose was to get you to recognize what it is you truly desire, start to question who you truly are, what you truly what you truly want, what would make you feel emotionally fulfilled, 
blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. It has been pushing you into this energy of loving yourself, which ultimately will bring you into this sense of autonomy, independence, whatnot, whatever, creating a tower or catalyzing a tower moment and getting you in alignment to move forward in a new creative direction, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have... Okay, the five of wands. So there is definitely inner conflict, but also this, for the most part, I'm feeling external conflict. And this is coming from people whom you've allowed to rely on you um, as a caregiver, as a provider in some way. Um, whether you're like the matriarch or patriarch of your family or whether you have some sort of risk, you have, you have assumed some sort of responsibility on behalf of other people. The five of wands energy or the, the differing in opinion that I'm, I'm picking up on here in the external form is in direct opposition to you taking your power back and going in your own direction, dismantling whatever it is that has been wrongfully, uh, wrongfully attached to you, wrongfully suited towards you in the sense that this is not serving your highest good. It's not serving your own personal best interest. It's also not serving um, your inner sense of fulfillment dismantling that okay dismantling whatever that is with this tower energy but of course there's going to be opposition because the people that you may have been serving right and i do put that in air quotes serving um or a, a better way of saying it is enabling yes these people that you have been enabling are going to disagree with you do not care f for the fact that you wish to do your own thing they want what they want when they want it and they don't like the fact that you're take you're in an energy of taking your power back but Seems they're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> Five of Wands is coupled with the Hanged Man. So now here, your challenge, Leo, because now we're getting back into the internal conflict that this Five of Wands also represents. Because I'm not going to sit here and say that even though you're in this energy of independence and taking your power back, that doesn't mean it's not without some sort of inner turmoil. Because you are, you do recognize the responsibilities you have had to carry in the past, but you also recognize how they're not serving you and how you need to make a change for the better in your life. There is that change in perspective that the hanged man represents. There's also that enlightenment that the hanged man represents. So through this conflict, this inner conflict and the subsequent external manifestation of that conflict, you are gaining a change in, uh, in perspective. You are going through an enlightenment period. And for some of you, you may have been in this energy of this inner turmoil or conflict about some of this stuff for a long time so what this hanged man is representing here is you finding coming to terms with it and finding the enlighten, enlightenment and difference in perspective that you would need to move forward for, with whatever is is going on for you right now okay leo i mean yeah this is challenging but of course it's challenging this is life you know it, whatever <laughs> but it seems that you're doing well so far so continue yes excellent Getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, you've got, all right, there you go, the Eight of Cups, and there you are walking away from whatever no longer serves you, period. Eight of Cups is coupled with, there you go, Leo, oh my God, yes, you are literally walking away from whatever no longer serves you in order for you to find that Ten of Cups. Now, some of you could be leaving certain situations um, on the back burner right now in order to go find that two those two cups to complete your 10 so this could be a romantic relationship a situation this could be a romantic partner just like i was saying here there could be someone out there that is looking to make some sort of romantic gesture towards somebody with this knight of cups energy um only to like to gather those two cups only to bring them back to the eight cups that are neatly stacked here to complete your 10 or some of you are walking away all together and it looks like you might be starting anew here with the Ace of Cups in your challenge and the Ace of Wands that you seem creatively inspired to move towards. That is beautiful, Leo. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading. Here you have, wow, now you have the Ace of Swords. Woo, truth, honesty, integrity. I do feel like there are gonna be some sort of communication, some sort of um, conversation here, laying it out flat for yourself or for whomever it is you're dealing with, telling it like it is, being um, upfront and honest about it. This is also an epiphany here. So that now for some of you, this could very well be structured as the first half, second half of your month. So you're moving forward within these energies only to end up in a change in perspective, right? With this hanged man, five of wands, to then 
take uh, to then have an epiphany ace of swords all right some sort of aha moment the light bulb goes off in your head and now you're like oh now you recognize what it is that you need to do to complete your 10. for some of you again for some of you you have to start over completely for others of you it's just going out to find that two of cups to complete your 10. that could be a romantic relationship that could I, it, it, it could be i really do feel like for a lot of you it's a partnership a, a romantic partnership but it also could be a creative partnership like if you're looking to embark on a new creative project or whatnot, whatever, and you realize that you want to bring someone in on the project with you to collaborate, that's exactly what that Two of Cups could be, okay? It really could be anything. Take it as it resonates, all right? So the Ace of Swords is then coupled with, wow, the Queen of Cups. More Cancerian energy. This could be a feminine energy that you're that you're recognizing, realizing that you want to be with, that you want to communicate with. But this also could be you very in touch with your emotions, very in touch with your intuition, very in touch with your feelings and allowing yourself to gain the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that you need to move forward through that intuitive knowing or that intuitive understanding. I'm getting a very strong, with this Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords, I'm getting a very strong sense of understanding what it is uh, your emotions are telling you, uh, having a very strong and deep understanding of your emotions and keeping them in balance and in check. Or realizing that you need to, the importance of your emotions and that you need to get in check here. But also I'm getting that there is some sort of epiphany or understanding of maybe a divine counterpart out there. So we could be talking to the masculine here, represented by the emperor, who is recognizing who his queen of cups is. Someone that would match you emotionally, but from a feminine point of view, because you do have this knight of cups with the emperor. Now, for some of you Leos out there, especially those who are more masculinely oriented, and I'm not, well, I, actually, I am talking to those who are masculinely oriented, um, and this has nothing to do with gender, okay? We're just talking about energy, okay? Um, but those, some of you, someone that is more, that is on the masculine end of things, this might be very new to you, okay? Expressing your emotions like this, which is why I feel like it's coming out as the Knight of Cups. We'll see if the King of Cups comes out, but... Okay, your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Leo. Ah, there you go, the Page of Cups. Maybe some sort of reconciliation I am hearing, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I really do feel like this Page of Cups here is a, uh, a ch the challenge is um, making some sort of romantic gesture or romantic offer. Starting out small, I feel like, and trying to work your way up. Maybe coming to terms with your emotions, potentially. Page of Cups is coupled with the Strength card. There you are again, Leo. So, okay, yeah. Your challenge here, Leo, is to step up and have the strength to follow through with your dreams because the, the Page of Cups is also a dreamer energy. Um, so if you have some sort of dream and potentially if this has to do with a romantic partnership, your challenge here is to make that romantic offer, make that romantic gesture. Okay. That is a beautiful energy. Uh, and your ego is going to need to have to take a back seat here. For sure, Leo. It may be that your ego and your pride has been what's gotten you, gotten in your way in the past, especially if we're talking about a specific individual. Obviously, we don't have to be. This is a general reading. But um, I do feel like ego and pride may have been an obstacle in the past. And now you're having to tame that and start to make some sort of small incremental gestures or movements in the ways of um, expressing your emotions, expressing your feelings, and ultimately um, uh, realizing your dreams of some sort of romantic partnership, probably. Okay, closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Leo, you have, there you go, there's more of your energy, Leo, the Six of Wands. So you have effectively come out 
All three of the cards that represent your energy have come out in your reading, Leo. You had the sun that came out first, now you have strength, and now you have the six of wands as a closing message or potential outcome. So for those of you here that are looking to make some sort of romantic gesture, victory is at hand, all right? But whatever it is that you're moving forward towards, whatever it is you're leaving behind in service of your ten of cups, and, any, and like whatever epiphany that you may be coming towards, whatever challenges you may have to overcome in terms of reaching your goals or going after your dreams, success is here for you, okay? Uh, the Six of Wands is coupled with the moon. Oh, so your success may be quite hidden right now. You really, really may not be able to see how things are going to turn out currently. But again, you need to follow your intuition you need to follow your intuition here, Leo, all right? You do have the sun and the moon that came out. There is balance here. Um, you, just, you just can't see it just yet. You just don't, you don't know how it's going to manifest. You don't, you, know, you, you don't even know if you're going to be successful. And if you're dealing with any fears in terms of this success that you seek, it is, in fact, illusionary. You just can't quite see everything that's in front of you right now. So again, you really need to rely on your intuition here. All right, Leo? All right. Let's get your Oracle guidance then. For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, last shuffle. Okay, Leo, let's see. What is your oracle guidance for this month of November 2019? For my Leos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. Oracle guidance for my Leos. There we go. Uh-oh. Ooh, all right. Well, you have card number 19. Interesting. The trickster. Deceit, betrayal, and guile. Okay. Ooh-wee. Wow. All right, Leo. Check this out. Let me be a reminder to be true to yourself, to your own personal truths, to the code within your soul. Truly, at this time, it is essential for you to let your conscience be your guide and to live according to your own creed with open eyes. Do not fool yourself into believing another person's vision and ideas are more important than your own. Question agendas and be aware of people's history. For at this time, there is one about you who is attempting to persuade you to join their cause. I'm sorry, to persuade you to their cause, to join them in what they see is a great task, but which is in truth, which I'm sorry, but which in truth is simply a harnessing of your power to their agenda, which is not for your highest good. Oof. All tricksters are charming and know exactly what to say to persuade you, but this is mere language. Their deeds will not match their words, and what you are agreeing to by joining with them will be a loss of your own personal dreams for the furthering of theirs. If you allow yourself to be coerced, cajoled, and manipulated at this time, it will weigh heavily on your soul. Be more wary than is natural for you at this time. Do not betray yourself or ignore the warning signs which are all about you. Do not foolishly give away your power, but exercise it and weave a future that is truly the one you wish to create, one which will provide you with honor, plenty, and the satisfaction of being true to yourself. Wow. So there you have it, Leo. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of December. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.